Hello everybody, this is Stephen Emma from Shones Online going live. So we'll, uh, we're just going to uh, just bear with us a few minutes while we uh, sort a few things out. Ah, we've got one person watching. Say hello, Emma. Hello. Just, just bear with me a minute. Yes. Yeah. First time we've done this, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It is the first time we've done it. So, um, like I say, if you've got any questions for us, just uh, pop it in the comment box below, and uh, we'll do our best to uh, to answer answer any of your questions. Yeah. Um, we are a bit new to Facebook Live. I use it a lot on my other on my landscaping business. Um, but never done it on on this either, so you know. So anyway, Emma, we can see what's happening here. Mm. So why are we why are we doing a Facebook Live at seven thirty of an evening? Because we get such a lot of comments and feedback from you guys through the YouTube channel and Facebook and Twitter and what have you. So we thought we would do one of these live things. Yes. Just to give you an opportunity to talk to us. Yeah. Ask us what you want, what you want to know, anything. Yeah, and just have a chat, really, I think. Yeah. I mean, we're very personable people, as you know. Um, we're not, we're not like, sort of behind some sort of corporate facade, are we? We're actually, you know what we're like. You've yeah, seen us on you've our, seen you've us seen us on our video. Bantering we're, and. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> we're just like any other people, really. Emma, Emma, Emma dislikes me quite a lot. Um, I think that's just wide, isn't it? Yeah. Really. Yeah. If you could you see know. some of the uncut footage that we that we do, so we welcome any questions. So you know, feel free to answer. You know, to uh, ask us any questions while we're while yeah. we're at it. Um, I think we get such a lot of of good feedback and and people asking questions, all kinds of things, really. I suppose about whatever house it is they're looking at and yeah. and the house that we've just. Yeah. We've just reviewed um so uh, you know I, th I think this is just if there's anything else so what i'm looking what we're looking is. for is people to to come on and just say that you that they bought a house i i just am glad you can make it oh so what's our favorite house build oh our favorite house builder and why mm. <laughs> <laughs> hello mm. richard how are you well <laughs> You put me on the spot with that yeah. one. Well, we've both got favourites, haven't we? It's more difficult to, to pick a specific builder. I think I've got lots of favourite house types. Um, because we've been in some absolutely outstanding, beautiful houses, haven't we? Yeah. Um, my favourite, my personal favourite is Bovis. I have to be honest. Um, I've liked Bovis for many years from the 80s really mm. um i just like that quintessential kind of country style bovis house type thing that they do yeah. you know and they've been around a long time and i know they've had a bit of a a beating in the press but i always do look forward to doing a bovis house i just think i don't know i just get a really good feeling about a bovis house i think for me i like the more contemporary style houses that we we've, we've been going in particularly this year you know, like Cress Nicholson. Yeah. They've built some beautiful houses. St Modwin. I like the very big windows. You know, the the more angular rooms. That's just a personal thing. But yeah, I'm contemporary kidding. houses. Yeah. <laughs> I I do. I am a bit of a fan of, of of contemporary as well. But then saying that, I like David Wilson. You know, some of their big, fantastic houses are just gorgeous. So you live you love big and luxury, don't you? Yeah. Luxury, which is very much what we don't live in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that question. This <laughs> yeah. Well, let's have a look. I'm just looking. I'm not staring you out here. It says, "What do you find?" Uh, what do what do you do to find show homes are, are where and do you just turn up and realize you've already seen the same model no there's a little bit more to it than that actually it's a it's a big operation isn't it is it? it's Obviously, bigger than you think you can see that this is our office you can see we've even got houses on the wall do you know emma said, said what we're going to do if the phone rings oh dear we'll have a sneak Sorry. peek who it is 
Don't know, but I don't want the answer phone to kick in. No, so no. Yeah. Well, we run two businesses, you say. Right, okay. We're just going to get back to that question before they get too too much. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, what we're going to say is um, a lot goes into finding these houses right. Yeah. We work alongside quite a few different developers. Um, and th they kind of say to us, well, what, you know, they kind of, we, we give them, we tell them what we want to potentially look at don't we yeah. um obviously uh, houses is your hobby yes i am a housing historian um so you know what's going on everywhere emma probably doesn't i don't know how he knows it but he just does yeah <laughs> he makes it his life work to find out what's going on with every developer in the country pretty much and then you, you figure out where we're going that's pretty sad <laughs> it is it is but you can imagine that in any one town there might be 15 20 developments going on and it's like that all over yeah, the country yeah it's everywhere we, so we pick an area so we've been concentrating on the south haven't we quite a lot only recently and we've been trying to do the you know trying to do the south a lot yeah. um and so i am in charge my job is purely in charge of organizing where we're going and what yeah. we're doing really you know and um, no we don't just turn up do we no. a lot of the time we no. are invited they know we're coming um sometimes though when we do get past a really nice house that we've not yeah. we do tend we do tend do to try and a bit of a look, yeah yeah covertly <laughs> because obviously there are hundreds and hundreds of developers in this country there are obviously the big ones yeah the mass house builders that we are very fond of and try and get around as many of them as we can yeah but then there's lots of others as well that yeah. we try and small in. big it's, and there's it's only two of us there's, there's there's thousands and thousands of house yeah. builders yeah. right this is a question from jane um it says what style do you live in what oh, what jane. what style do you live in and do you move house yourself a lot oh my god no well we actually have got we live in a bungalow yeah we live in a bungalow <laughs> we live in a with, with our dog and cat <laughs> Yeah, we did. We moved house last year. We we did have a big house with kids and what have you. Just and to, we, we downsized. You have to excuse me because I've just got to look at the questions on my uh, um, other one. Emma will answer that. So yes, we've we've got a bungalow that we're planning to do quite a lot to over the next couple of years, uh, and it's always a bit untidy. Dogs, cats, yeah. you know, and horses. Work from home. <laughs> no, no horses. No. We haven't even got honestly. Right. We haven't even got room for a pony, have we? Um, oh, so Jane's asked us another question. Why don't you come up to the northeast? Yes, we are planning to. Oh, we're on. We are on it. We are. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are. Like I say, we're we're heading into. <laughs> What's that question? Can you see? Yeah, it says, "Love you guys." But no, there's another bit, I think. Um, you can see why we both wear glasses. Yeah. Yeah, we're both blind. I bought yeah. Bones House based on your review. Oh. Thought about using yes, we we have got a three hundred and sixty camera. We've had it quite a while. Oh, I know who this is. Yes, and we you don't will. like it. Yes, <laughs> yes, uh, I know. Yeah. I know who it is. You sent us some videos, didn't you, on YouTube? Um, you sent us some videos on YouTube, um, and we actually we we're we, very impressed. Yes, we like yeah, it. Yeah, and that was actually a what? great insight. Uh, excuse me. Excuse what me. Are you doing? Don't ask. Don't ask. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Sebast. Yeah. Yes, Sebastian. Yes. We 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 saw. Yes, we had. Hello, good... Laura. <laughs> we did look at your. We did. It was great. It was like yeah. a bit of a covert um, mission to actually see what happens. Yeah. Um, and I hope you're happy with your Chester. Um, it's we, a nice house. It is, uh, and Very I'm nice. glad. I'm so glad you you bought it. And I, um, what a good. It's a great house. I love doing the Chester. Yeah. So the 360 thing, yes, we have got one. We've had one about 12 months, haven't we? Because we did try it. We thought it might be a good thing to add into the videos, but it it was just too much of a faff, to be honest. And we, yeah. didn't, find, we didn't find it added much to the videos that we already make, which are quite time-consuming, I'm sure you can imagine. So we just felt it wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. And a lot of developers already pay for those kind of videos themselves. Yeah. So that there was nothing else to yeah. add. Um, a message from Helen Keeling. Helen has just asked what you think about the simon and she's actually bought a she's reserved a Rufford. The well, Rufford, which is one of the most popular house types in the entire country. 
and on yes. our channel it actually it is it's one of our most watched videos you can't go wrong with a rufford i think it's yeah i mean it's what, a good house uh, regarding regarding persimmon for me and they're not one of my favorite what is what does sebastian say there it is a faff yeah you're, <laughs> yeah you're right it is yeah but back to james about persimmon um you know i i I used to like persimmon as a house, but I do now. They're very, I just don't, I think the houses just look very basic and lack character. But, do you know, you get what you buy, you get what you yeah. pay for in a persimmon house. is a good, always a good foothold up and into your next property, really. And it's, they're very popular with first time buyers, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. They do build a good house. Right. What's this? We are buying a Barrett in Folkestone. Hi, Jane. Um, oh, sorry, I've missed it. He said, right, I've got, okay, Sharon, I'm just going through the back catalogue of things. So Sharon, Sharon Hayes is asked, what advice would you give to a first time buyer on what pitfalls to look out for? Mm. Well, I think, I think when you're buying a new house, obviously the show house is, shows you what it looks like it's, with all the bells and whistles. Yeah, it shows you the you. dream. Yeah. That's, that's what you've got to remember a show home is. The house that you buy and move into won't look like that essentially the bones will yeah but a show home is is dressed to impress and a it, home is what you make it and it's, um, it 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 shows that house in the best possible way that it can look and it's i like to say they're all immaculately finished sometimes they're not yeah you know sometimes they're opened before they should be before yeah. they're finished yeah. but you know on the whole they're the best it's the best look that that house can have. And that's it. And, you know, you, and, you know expect... what you move into will be a box that's that's painted. It might have carpets. It might not. It, it, you know, uh, most of the things in a show home as well, that's the other thing, are an upgrade. Yeah. There are some developers like Bovis who will include your appliances and whatever. But with most developers, everything is optional and is extra. You know, you will have a lot of choices to make with regards to the kitchens and, and you know, and all that kind of thing. So, I suppose, look at all the options. Look at all the developers. See yeah. what else there is on offer and compare them all. That's it, because some developers, like Bovis, for instance, everything you see is standard within within the build. But you oh. do pay that a little bit more for you it. Do. You get a lot included. Yeah. You know. Um, Hi, uh, Simon. Hello. Hello. Now Sharon says, um, which would you say are the best developers? God, mm -hmm. I knew questions like this would happen. Well, we can say best. I mean, in per personal, personal favourites. Um, Do you mean best as in quality? Because actually that's not down for us to decide. Is no. it? That's... Actually, you are the critics ultimately, yeah. aren't you? Really? All we do is show you what they've got on offer. Um, and in terms of their standard, that's down to you as the ones that put your money on the table. You know, you're going to be paying for those houses for a very long yeah. time. So, you know, we do know that there are a lot of people who are extremely dissatisfied with the product that they get. But then there are thousands and thousands of people who really love their new homes. Yeah. So it's a bit of a balancing act. You know, I, I, I don't feel that we should say who we think are the best because it's you guys that watch us showing you what they're bringing to the market okay um thank this... you sharon yeah great <laughs> <laughs> now oh. it says here um have you thought about getting a tripod and resting the camera in the corner for a for a few for a, for a few seconds now i don't know if any of you guys have noticed but we've mm. actually changed camera yeah now we've bought a ridiculously expensive camera which mm. made up made emma's eyes water when i said about it but we're hoping and, and cried in the shop. Yeah, and we we are trying to improve our videos and get rid of the fish eye look. We with did it. do that though. We had a camera in the corner on one of the Q and A's, didn't we? Where we did the kind of double filming, and that yeah. was quite good actually. It was a it was a bugger to mirror but, up with it, yeah, you know. That's the thing, I suppose. Yes, we there are all kinds of things that we could do in terms of of tarting up the film, if you like, and and improving the videos. But all of that adds to the time it takes to make them. And we never go in these houses before we literally open the front door and we go in. We, There's no pre-rehearse. No, we you don't might go think in. You no, so when you see a shocked or, you know, I say, oh, look at this. It's because we've not seen it before. Because I don't want to be false about that. I want you to know 
but the first time I see it is genuinely the first time I see it and, and I say it as I see it so <laughs> what is it what uh, jo hiya Joanna jo Joanna um, hello Steve and Emma are mm. there any memorable moments that, um, from your videos that you look back on and laugh the draw handles was a classic that was a red row wasn't it do you oh, know what right. the red row have never never even entertained us since that they you know? don't like us yeah but there you go there's a prime example of that's exactly what happened the first time we went in that house and if their kitchen cupboards don't work, then that's unfortunate. But to, for it to happen in both show homes on the same development, well, apparently, which what, had just had new kitchens fitted, that was it. There was symphony. Shocking. There was symphony. Symphony. Um, sim, there was symphony kitchens. They were new kitchens. Hang on, I want to just add my funny moment here. You know, mm, Emma's like she jumps in on a lot. Now, my funniest moment has to be. It wasn't funny at the time. It was when we went all the way to Devon to do some reviews for Bovis. Now, I decided to drive it in a, in a day completely um, and back again, which was, I mean, we live in Shropshire. That's like a long time to get there. It was, how long did it take? About five hours, five hours down there. Yeah. So we go all the way down there. We do the videos, dirt, 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 right? We, we go to the seaside, but don't actually stop there. Then we travel all the way back and get caught in, got, got caught in the most horrific traffic jam. Then we got back up, got, got back home and realised there was a problem with the audio on the videos. We were I spent nearly a day trying to correct it until we realised that we had to go down there again and do it all again. And that was absolutely It was heartbreaking. <laughs> so what It was just horrible. So if you actually watch our last Q and A video, you will notice that during that video on that road trip we were actually wearing different clothes throughout that video no one actually noticed no, did they because it's two different trips that we cut together to make one video that was a, that was a funny it that was a funny a funny, funny. No, funny moment funny. right i just saw a question about what what's our main aim or something okay it says it, yeah the next thing i would strongly recommend recommend you leave the video as it as it is and that right. is very interesting that is because we have such such a problem conveying over to the developers that you know we 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 are completely impartial and people want to see this kind of review and you know i know the developers have got their own videos they spend thousands on them mm. and you know and you're only being told what you want you're only being told what you want to um what you want to see aren't you hi chrissy nice to see you um, you're only being told what you want to see. Oh, look, Simon says, any plans to do any galleas? Yes. <laughs> now, obviously, we live in, in Shropshire, and galleas are big Shropshire builders, and they're actually building two minutes away from our house. So, yes, as soon as, uh, as, soon as they're finished. But they have got some other developments that we, we're going to try and tackle maybe sometime this week. But back, back to Justin's question on the, on the videos... We are trying to brand them a little bit better, um, what was and the just question? it was just about about he said we, we you know we need to live leave our videos as we are, and we are we are going to do that, aren't we? Just you know, well you can't get away from the fact that it's just me and you looking at houses. <laughs> it is what it is, and we <laughs> and I suppose we just we have a way of doing it, and we're if, shocked. If, if, if there's anything that you feel we don't look at and that you think would be useful for us to cover, then let us know, you know. I think we try and, I, well, I try and open all the cupboards, you know. I do talk about the decor because I talk about what's in front of me. Same as with a view home, it's quite boring to look around, you know. You try and talk about the space in the best way that you can. That's when the that's when we start coming out with lines like, what, did, what's your, what was your line that Justin said, was it? It's adequate. Adequate. <laughs> and I'm going, yeah, yeah this yeah. is really nice, really nice. Yeah. What does really... Well, there's only so many things that you can say, isn't there, when you're trying to describe something that you can see in front of you. Yeah, this is really nice and trying to be inspired. Yeah. And if you're in some houses that we do, if you actually looked at me off camera, I'm I'm there permanently yawning like I'm outside, like I'm waiting for a woman yeah. outside a clothes shop. I'm... And, <sighs> and often we're trying to sort of navigate around each other aren't we so yeah. that i'm not stood in your way or you're in the doorway that i need to get in you know there's always a bit of chopping and changing isn't i mean there? i've often thought of just keeping my mouth shut letting emma get on with it really but yeah, I think um, that's a good idea. but we've got do you know what though we've got a video coming up by taylor wimpy and you'll you'll laugh your head off at that one 
because I get I get attacked by a tiger. You'll love that one. Oh, wait, wait for that, that one. one yeah. <laughs> um, See, um, that's the other thing is sometimes we'll do multiple multiple houses in one day. I think the most we've ever done was about thirteen, wasn't yes. it? In one day, it's just exhausting. And sometimes by the end of the day, I can't remember which house we're in, and or even where we are. Because there's just so many. Yeah. Joanna Sir asked if we're going to go to Dorset. Now, funny enough, we've done all mm. of those areas around there, but we've not actually been into Dorset. No. Um, but we are planning. We're uh, we are talking to we are talking to developers at the moment about expanding, uh, you know, out and forwards. Right. Richard's asking there about it'd be interesting to know about the spec of the house. For example, get the info on what spec the kitchen. Right. And that that's easy to do. If we've been able to have a conversation with the sales negotiator. Normally the one is the, they're, they're not interested. Yeah. Or if they've got customers in the sales centre, they just say, just go in and get it done. So sometimes they want to talk to us and sometimes they don't. I feel sometimes um, that they just, I, I, I always feel sometimes like we're... So sometimes we actually don't know what the spec yeah. is. And, and also, sometimes the spec depends on what you want to pay for. It, you know, it can depend on your budget or what they've even got on offer. There might be multiple choices for that show home. But don't forget, in the description box below on the videos, we include quite a lot of information in there about yeah. about the room sizes and everything, you know. Yeah. Um, but also, we've got to make the videos as short, as short as possible so you guys don't get bored with them. Yeah. I mean, with our new camera, we've started taking a lot more really nice pictures of the houses, really, so you get a bit more mm -hmm. of a feel for them, really. Um, now Joanna asked, if, yeah, like I say, we, we, we've already done that about, um, what is your primary goal looking at showings? Is it to review them, or the decor of the home, or review the build of this home? Do right. you know, well I, I know that you particularly call it a review, I don't, I call it a show home tour. Because that's what it is essentially, and we're not reviewing the quality of it, because that's not our job essentially. We're not paying for it. You are. You're the critics, and, as we've said. You know, you're going to put you're going to put your money on the table with the developer, so you need to be sure about what you're buying, and that's down to you guys that, that are yeah. the home buyers, essentially. Yeah. Um, same as if you were buying a house that somebody else had lived in. You know, you'd have a survey and whatever. So, in terms of build quality, it's not our place to say. What we're looking at is more to do with Steve's hobby. Really, that's kind of where it came from, which is about the design of the house. I hate the, the word hobby. The type of, well, that's how it started, isn't it? It's the type of house, because many developers will have a portfolio where you may have anything up to about 25 houses, some of them. Some of them only have 10. Yeah. So, you know, some of them may have many, many house types that can be different in different places all over the country. So we look at the layout how the house functions, what you get for your, for your money, for your space, essentially, how many bedrooms. So we're just telling you about that yeah. house type. Do you know something really important? that uh, Do you know as a housing historian, you can see some of the files that are at the back there. In those files are the history of individual house builders, like, and that's the back catalogue of house designs yeah. over their, over their history of their company. Yeah. You know, and that's what I'm a historian. So... Do you know what I'd love to be able to do is I wish YouTube was about in the 80s so I could actually go and review and have a look what a house looked like in 1980. What we're actually doing by doing these reviews is actually creating an archive of interior design for the future of actually showing how, say we do this for another another 20, 30 years, we've had the ultimate archive left behind of, of the changing house design and but interior design. <laughs> Yeah. So, and I know I've said this before, but but we can go anywhere in the country and look at any house on any estate or development and Steve will know who built it and what year it was built and half the time what the house type is called and all that's in his head. Yeah. So that that's kind of what it is. It started off as your interest in houses, didn't it? And yeah. it's developed into more. So I am known as the new house historian. We're not the we're not the NHBC, all right. We're not the developer police. So, you know, if if their build quality is shocking, it's not necessarily down to us to say. 
same as you know if we think they're outstanding we will we'll, we'll, we'll do but we're not we're not going to comment on the build quality no are we? no it's you, no no we can't no. I mean, and again we're just showing you the show home not usually the other houses on the development we started off as housing critics didn't we and that mm. really didn't get us didn't really get us very far um but actually in some respects we 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 made developers actually look at what their product a little bit more so we did a little bit of good in that way but yeah. then i think you know we're not we're not directly we're, we're not about the developers although it helps developers we're actually like just like the go compare really of of the housing market really and, um, and our main aim is just to show you what there is in that house so if and the other reason is is that often developers when they're planning a, de a new development they will choose one or two house types or sometimes three to have as the show homes on that development now a lot of people find that there may not be, you know, so so there might be 20 other house types that are for sale on that development that you have to buy off plan. at the other tablet. That you can't, you, you can't necessarily go in and have a look around. You've, you've got to take their word for it of how it looks. So what we're trying to do is get developers' entire portfolios on <laughs> so that you can see us walking around that house rough. type somewhere in the country. So there may be only one house type that's dressed as a show home somewhere in the country and we'll go and have a look at it. And that's what we, we do with developers, really, is we try to work on portfolio, yeah. don't we, to try yeah. and get all of their house types on there. So that even if there isn't one of the house type that you're buying within a 100-mile radius, there might be one of those on our channel that we've seen somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Joanne's, just made, Joanne's just made me laugh again. Um, she says she loves looking around showings, but feel embar embarrassed to go in and also have a look, and she makes up excuses to go in now that's quite funny because when i was a kid and they were talking 86 87 i used to make up excuses saying i'm doing a project at school just to look around the route around the show homes but uh, but i suppose yeah you can look but, around loads of show but you homes. do find that they want to pounce on you though and they want your name address and yeah the, your passport before they'll let you in because obviously they're only interested in buyers aren't yeah. they now carrie's asked there hi carrie what is what are your day jobs Oh, well, we we run a landscape gardening company. I'm a garden designer. and Look out for us on DIY general, SOS soon. Yeah, we've done two DIY SOSs. Um, I design all the gardens, run the office and everything else. And Steve is, is the boss the, of the, garden the landscape builder. inside yes. of it. Um, yeah. But I think eventually we'll be... We'll... But we do... Obviously, we do gardens in the week and houses at the weekend. I think eventually... Did you just tell me you up there? <laughs> No, because she interrupts me all the time. I know people say that I interrupt Emma, but she doesn't. She she talks over me. Yeah. I was saying though, uh, yeah, that because that's what we do. But I think ultimately, ultimately, um, we we will potentially give up our day jobs and do this really. Um, but this is hard work, though, isn't it? I'm telling you now, it's yeah. it's not at the up. So if you think I'm looking tired, you're right because I am, and. Uh, yeah we haven't had a holiday in 18 months and yeah we need one yeah so well every we... time we think we might get one then we get asked to go somewhere else and look at some more houses and and that's what we do so yeah that's okay what richard say you're more famous than we thought we are do you know what we we, we have just designed and built a garden for diy sos that's our second, our second one, one we do yeah. um you know, yeah. and if you want to, if you want to be nosy and see what else we do, our, our yeah. other website is www.thegardensurgery.com and you'll be able to see all of our other work. Yeah. Um, and you did actually build a basketball court in this garden. We did actually yeah. build a full-size basketball court. In, 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 so you'll be seeing that coming up but towards the end of the year on, um, on DIY SOS. <laughs> yeah, Jane. That's why I mentioned the garden designs. Yeah, because I'm always looking to see the, what the show homes have got garden-wise. I'm yeah. always interested in that. Carrie, Carrie, the Barwick. The Barwick detached, aren't you lucky? The Barwick's yeah. very rarely in its detached form. Um, but it is a great... I don't think you can go wrong with a Barrett house, really. You just... You know what you're getting yeah. when you, you, you walk in a Barrett house... You know, and they've got such a good portfolio of different. So if you want to buy it, then you move up to the next size. I think the Tetbury Barrett are a, 
a solid, reliable builder, actually. I don't think I've ever been disappointed with a Barrett show home. No, really. and, you know, Barrett's have been doing yeah. it. I've been doing it for years, um, and I do, I do like I do yeah. like Barrett. I just want to thank you all for um, for joining us tonight. It's very kind of you, and uh, there's yes. nothing more we like to spend an hour with you guys because you are the guys that make us. What does it say? Simon says I've just moved into a new bed. And I'm like, <laughs> where do you live, Simon? Simon. <laughs> You speak to Emma, you speak to Emma, our garden design services. We have built some absolutely amazing yeah. gardens. We've got a Facebook page as well yeah. for the gardens Yeah, too. We, we have, yeah. And um, we've built some amazing gardens. Do you know, we've never done a show home garden, have we? No. I think some show home gardens. I think I, we, I could certainly do better than a lot of them I've seen sometimes. Uh, yes, Simon's from Marshall oh. Street. Yes, you yes, Simon, are you the one who bought the David Wilson one? You are, aren't you? Yes, yes, I know who you are. Yes, yes, Simon. Didn't Simon come to meet us at the? It was Simon, wasn't it? Yes, the new Barwick is now called the Folkestone. Oh. Now let me tell you a little story about that. On that, no, the, about the Barwick. Now the Barwick itself, yes, it, it used to be the. It's, well, that says Berwick. Barwick. Let me tell Barwick. Jane about the Barwick, right? Without any interruptions, right? In the 80s, Barrett had the Premier Collection, which was their range of houses. Now, their modern houses are called the Classic Collection, but they had house types. All of the house types were named after um, certain areas. There was like, um, the Ennerdale, the Folkestone, the Maidstone, exact. And now they've started changing the names back again now. Now, our new site in, Tel new site in Telford, they've gone back. So it, the Folkestone was the original design. I don't know why they've done that, but... Um, I could actually probably find the original Folkestone design. Bye, John Paul. Oh. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, we, hey. Thanks, John. John Paul, what John a name. Paul. You can't go wrong with a name like that, can you? Lovely. Yeah. Okay, keep those yeah. questions coming, guys. Keep them coming. Yes. Um, we, we just want to, well, well yeah, we've got some more questions. We just want to talk about the, the channel and how successful it's been. And yeah. last week we did half a million views that's out astounding yeah it's blown us away actually you know and we've had a thousand subscribers i mean we're not quite keeping up with the kardashians but you know no half a no, million views no of essentially you guys watching us looking at houses is is outstanding yeah really. and, and i think it's uh, honestly we it's quite humbling, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think Emma and you know I know I know we've got quite a few people who are fans, you know, fans of what we do, and I don't think Emma gets used to the the fact that you have a li you, you have fans that people that look actually like she has. Emma's always getting messages from people. Oh, oh, you look good today, Emma. I just delete them. <laughs> yeah, that's why I never <laughs> see them. <laughs> Anyway, what we got then? We got some more questions now. Then, so we are you get are you going to review the Westbury development, uh, the Westbury development new new house builds at any time? The Westbury. Now you're probably going to elaborate with that. Um, re review the Westbury. Um, oh, Nigel. Thank is, you, Nigel. What are you doing on here? Eh? <laughs> Westbury. Westbury is a builder. Westbury Homes or or the air or Westbury. Or Houses in Westbury. Yeah, Ooh, you'll have to uh, elaborate on that. I, I, I don't think Westbury build houses anymore, do no, they? No, they, they do, under Persimmon. Do they? They do. Westbury okay. Partnerships, believe it or not. Um, are Barwick detached Wretch? Yeah, yes. I, they actually are, because they all, they've always come. They've always been. Oh, um, they've always been. Yes. The Barwicks have always been tagged onto something else, like um, like semi detached, but yes. you very rarely. I think they very rarely get a detached Barwick, really. Yes, Wiltshire is an area that where we we intend to come down to. But the thing is, um, mm. Richard, is we're getting a lot of hassle up north. If you can, we've got a pin board over there which gives us our county map. Yes. Um, and honestly, all the pins are for the south. There's nothing. There's nothing north of Cheshire on there. We do know we need to uh, venture up north. A yeah. Bit. That. That. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Um, Rich, there's a Kennington there. Um, yeah, we've got some Barretts. We've got two new Barretts coming in the next week or so. Um, two yes. new new house designs that we've got. Tell you what, we have got some cracking houses coming up. You know, haven't we? Believe it or not, we do have a. Excuse me, we have a process, don't we, with the videos? Um, almost what? a bit like a kind of 
conveyor belt. A conveyor belt of, of videos. And we've always got kind of 20 or 30 in production at, at any one time. Um, waiting for the uh, the video editor, which is me, to, to have time to actually do them. So not only do we go and film them, but we actually we do all the editing and put them together. Up. Well, I do. I do it myself. Um, Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. What actually happens is we... Obviously, I am the cameraman, so I do all of the camera. Emma likes to take the photos and the showos. Then we get them here, um, and then I find all of the additional information for it, the, um, the yeah, additional pictures. Yeah, because there's a lot of other work that goes into it, really. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, as I say, we do have a process, and sometimes... They can be very promptly done, depending on what else we've got on garden-wise, or sometimes they they have to wait. Um, but we do try and upload regularly now. So I don't know if you've noticed we we try to upload every other day, don't we? Yeah. Just just to keep them coming. But believe me, we've got a long a long list on the conveyor belt waiting to be done. And do you know, guys? We'll never run out. Do you know? Do you know, guys? The secret of 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 this and it becoming more successful and us doing more houses. Is for you, you know, if you want us to do certain houses, then you tweet, you know, you, you need to yeah. you need to tweet the developers um, yeah. and say to them, look, we want, you know, could we have a show owns online and then a review of this, this house there? Because we want to obviously yeah. we do them. And I suppose what, what, what we try to say to developers is we're not trying to take over from their expensive professional videos that they all get done because obviously they've got their own idea of what they want you as buyers to know. So they have very well made, elaborate marketing videos made. We're just something a bit additional, I suppose. Yeah, and I, because we're just normal people I think they, they, looking around, it's just an addition yeah. to what they have already. Yeah, I and mean, I think they, they, you know, you've got some that think we're very amateur, but we, yeah. we, you know, trying to get convey over to them that it's not amateur, it's, it's, it's actually real, real people looking at real videos yeah. now. Um, and, you know, the only and way... I suppose with half a million views now, they're more likely to take a little bit of notice of, of what you guys want to watch. Yeah, um, and that's it, you know. So and whether you find it helpful, that's that's the main thing. Because they'll say, well, why, why, should, why should we do it? Yeah. And you need to say to them, because, because they'll budgets. find it helpful. They're because we want to see what, what they say about it. Yeah, that's that's it. Um, What's that? that there, yes. yes. And that's that's something that. Do you know why that is? Do you know why that is? It's because an average viewer on YouTube, they say an average viewer on YouTube. It, you, yeah, it's got a four minute attention span. Yeah, four minute attention span. Yeah. Ask yourself this question, guys. There's, there's what fifteen of you online now. How many of you, and I want you to answer the question honestly, watch our videos. When I upload one, how often do you watch it from start to finish? Yeah. Or do you just get to the, do you cut out the adverts <laughs> and yeah. just go, go to the middle? Or do you get, kind of get halfway and then you're nodding off a bit? That'd be interesting to know actually, yeah. is, is how many of you watch, watch, watch the video all, all the way through. Particularly on the executive, beautiful, big five bedroom houses with four bathrooms and, and all the rest of it. You know, the... the yeah. Go on for half an hour because they do go on for half oh, an hour. Oh, Sebastian, start to finish. Nice one. Yeah, nice Brilliant. one, Sebastian. And and yes, the and, and often their own videos. Some of them might have narration on. You might have a, a sales executive or whatever talking about the development, and 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 that's all well and good, isn't it? Um, but some of them might just be a what do you call it a, a tour with, with no talking. Yeah. And. You can just see what there is, so it doesn't often tell you a lot, yes, but often, you know, you've got to look at the purpose of those videos, is, is that they are to show you what the developer wants you to know. Yeah, that, that, and that's it, that, that is it really. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we what we're trying to do with some, we are really, trying to do... You're all saying that you watch good, them good on start you. and finish, and that's, yeah, that's, that's really it, fabulous. Yeah. And what we what we want to also do is we want to improve the video. So what we're trying to do now is trying to give the buyers a little bit more. So we, we, we're now, on certain, on certain videos, we're actually doing a bit of filming in the town centre and in the village and stuff like that. Mm. So we can give you a bit more of an overview of what 
a village is uh, what, what a village is like and you probably saw a little bit of that on our recent St Modwin house with the hot tub as you, you know um, yeah what did you think of that yeah what did you think way? of the St Modwin video uh, that I we did I wanted to get in that hot tub <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't want a hot tub on their roof I certainly would <laughs> Absolutely. I, I actually on that video I led you into that nicely, didn't I? Because I kept my back to the to the wall and then turned round and there was the hot tub there. Um but it's um I'm just reading what Sebastian's saying there. Turns out they are the shorter the better. Yeah. I mean we've all got people that we subscribe to on YouTube, you know, I've got many people that I like to watch and yeah, unless they are actively engaging, you you, you do lose interest. So you know, we try and make them as interesting as possible. And you know that kind of halfway through our videos, usually we're going to go upstairs. <laughs> you know, there is a format usually for most houses. You've got a downstairs and an upstairs. Yeah. And that's it. We did used to mix it up a little bit sometimes. Well, sometimes we've gone in to do a house and there's been customers downstairs. So we've had to start upstairs. Didn't we? And we've yeah. finished downstairs, which kind of throws it all. I'll tell you what is funny, though. <laughs> yeah. It always makes me laugh. It's when we say to the sales, the sales negotiator, we'll say, right, we're going to be 20 minutes in there. And I'll say, don't let anybody in if you possibly can. And then all of a sudden, somebody walks in, don't oh, they? Look what Simon said. Yeah, some Modwin. Yeah, I'm hoping to bring you some more St Modwin, actually. Yes. We've been working with... And we've worked really hard on that to to, to make it more yeah. professional looking. We yeah. Have. We ha yeah, we have. And, we you know, and, and what I like about St Modwin and is... St Modwin are they're a bit of a, a more of a modern a and they're developer. quite... Yeah, modern developer. Quite yeah. a new one. And believe me, you know, house. we're hopefully going to be doing a lot more of their houses. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me earlier on about Kia Living. Um, oh, Kia, yeah. Kia are one of these developers that are expanding, a bit like St Modwin but they're expanding their expanding mm. their development now good news is we've got three Kia living show homes coming very soon haven't we, we have. um a, a development near again they're in the uh, production process yeah in the production <laughs> process but oh my god yeah. the, the one of the houses the mayfair is oh. absolutely beautiful really I really think different. I said that day, because we did quite a lot that day, but that was my favourite house that day. But That'll be a treat. Biggles Wade was great for us because there was yeah. like loads of developers in one area, wasn't yeah, there? It was like a mecca of house building. It was exhausting, though. But yeah, we did a, an awful lot of houses in one day. Actually, we were that exhausted, we just decided not to do the last Taylor Wimpy house. But you, we've got yeah. we've got some beautiful um, Bellway. We've got a Bellway and a Bloor who shared yeah. the same site coming up as well. Yeah. Um, the door oh. the door's coming off yeah funny enough we haven't seen the door being taken off we used to see that a lot a couple of years ago didn't we yeah a lot of them used to try that on and we, you don't see it so much what we have a code don't we we have a code and that is yeah paint in the cupboard painting the cupboard um, oh, you mean paint tins? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Sales, the sales staff are using the kitchen as their... Uh, their own to, kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, they can do it as long as they clean up. We've been to a couple where they've been absolutely... Where you can tell they've used the toaster. <laughs> and the knife is still the on the side with the butter still on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, that's really funny, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, we try to look at things like that and the beds and stuff like that. And mirrors yeah, as well, the they're good tricks, aren't they? Yeah, they often put mirrors in bathrooms, especially en suites in shows. Who is? Because uh, somebody asked the other week about whether the mirror was included in, in <laughs> and I said, well, it probably is in a show home, yeah, but it won't be there in a what standard What developer house. is mirror-tastic? Taylor Wimpy. I think Blore. Bl blingy Blore. No, Blore like bling. Taylor yeah. Wimpy is... is the, the, yeah, they'll put mirrors anywhere they can yeah. get away with it. But I think Taylor Wimpy had a bit more of a theme to their houses, don't they, oh, really? It's all our new subscribers. So, Look, we've got 17 oh, watching now. Fantastic. 17. Hello, hello. hello. Thank you for joining hello. us. Well, right, what's Sharon saying there? Be helpful if we could say where the bus stop is. <laughs> I'm sure it would. Um, the trouble is, is that on a lot of developments... Oh, they, Ian, Ian's they, watching. Oh, Ian. Particularly on brand new ones where you've only just got the show homes constructed. They haven't even got the roads in, let alone the bus stop or the train station, have they? No, no. There's, there's often... The infrastructure is coming, but it's not there. But we, we are doing... we are Our new videos look a bit more about the local area and stuff, so... Yeah. you know, well, we're we, going to try, aren't we? Yeah. I suppose we do, what we don't want to do is bore 
bore you to death. No. And the more we put in, the longer they're going to be. Yeah. Yeah. And the longer you might have to wait for And them. we've got 16 people watching. Now, we need... It's really important for you guys to leave us a review on the Facebook page as well. Yeah. You know, why yeah. you... Because, yeah, you know, what developers, when they when they choose to come, come and approach us about doing a review or what have you, or uh, whatever yeah. programmes... You know, they are going to look at our Facebook and they're going to go, oh, I wonder what, what like, people think about them. And you guys, are, you guys are the ones that have got to convince them that you use us. What do they say? Use us or lose us? Yeah, well, yeah. I suppose we'll keep doing it. Now, that's the other th other thing as well, is is do you engage with us? Because we obviously, we use Twitter, we use Facebook, we use Instagram. Actually, Emma's learned to use Instagram this week. Last week. Last week. Come on, though. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I like it. <laughs> now I've got the hang of it. Um, we've also got a Pinterest board that I need to find time to get on with. Perhaps if I don't sleep for a week, I might catch up. Yeah. So there's all these different social media outlets that we use. So how many of you engage with us th through that as well? Do you find it helpful? Is it useful to be able to get in touch with us in many different ways and find out what's coming? I suppose. So, yeah, that's uh, it. That's it. And you know, our yeah. you know on our Facebook page. I know, Richard. That's fine. We love it. We we love the tweets. Yeah. Ian. Hello, Ian. Oh, hello. Hello, Ian. Ian's my Stafford, my Stafford <laughs> friend. Look, he's a, he's a bit obsessed with that that Red Road he Church Red view. Road, yeah. He does, doesn't he? We haven't been up there yet, you know. Like I said, we'd had a bit of a problem. Not a problem with Red Road, but they. They didn't, especially in the Midlands region, the the, the, not very friendly the sales service. manager didn't really no. kind of like what we were doing after the business with the cupboard door handles falling off. Um, but come on, Red Row, we need, we, we want to work with Red Row. Um, but we, you know, that doesn't stop us doing their, 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 uh, we have done, we've their done their quite reviews. a lot of Red Row, haven't we, all over the place. Yeah, so, uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, but also, um, you know, use Facebook. So Ian, 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 Ian yeah, lives he, in a persimmon house. Ian always talks to us through Facebook. Yes, I like yeah. Ian, hello, Ian, yeah. hello. I do like Instagram though, actually. Um, and we find that a lot of people are engaging with us through Instagram, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Particularly people that buy new builds. Yes, that's And have it. charted their own journey through pictures, which has been great. Yeah. Well, what we try to do our, our, with our uploads and stuff is that when our, our process is when we when we upload to YouTube, we also obviously send out on social media. Um, but we are going to be using we are going to start um, updating our Pinterest board as well so that you can get a full um, a full look at all of the different pictures that we take. Because the new camera we've got actually takes great pictures. Excuse me. Jane's just made a good point there, actually. You know about the magnetic wallpaper and stuff. Oh, do you remember that barra? I know. I was just going to say that I expect you've noticed, because we've got well over about 220 videos on now, haven't we, on You the ought channel. to look, yeah, look back in our archives. So some of them are, let me think, about 18 months old. We yeah. started the channel about, yeah, it was kind of November 2015. So, yeah, about 18 months or so ago. Yeah. And some of those early videos now were, were put on right in the beginning have had literally thousands and thousands of views, you know, upwards of 10, 15, 20,000 views, some of those videos, because they've been on a long time. But for but that even we... from that point, to there's been a definite change in interior design we've been able to see the trends and how things change we've not seen that magnetic wall again have we? no Anywhere. no it was it was made by gypsum it was actually magnetic plaster believe it or yeah, not yeah it's the plaster um very very expensive as yeah. well as it was wasn't it no something like 500 pound for one little wall i'll have five yeah ian says do you both have separate favorite houses Oh, I've got so that's a showstopper that is i've got quite a few go on give him one of your favorites right one of my favorites and i probably could name you about five is the bovis ascot at water beach water beach yes yes the bovis ascot. Five bed. i'm surprised you chose a bovis there actually yeah i've got others david wilson at uh barliston yeah W w uh, Wedgwood Park. Wedgwood Park. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. My personal favourite. 
Go on, what's your favourite big house? My biggest one. And let's do a big, a medium and a small. <laughs> Go on, what's your favourite big house? Uh, I have to say, it has to be the Fortin at Wedgwood Park. Um, yeah. at, that by David Wilson. I think my medium one has to be the... Oh, God, what's its name? Walton Homes um, at Devereux Grange. Oh, no, that's a big one. That, oh, that's that can be my big bed. one then. <laughs> yeah, what was that called? That's a five bed. Wasn't that a Haywood? Haywood, yes, the Haywood. A Haywood. That was, if you remember... That, that was the one with the Louis Vuitton and accessories. Yes, it was very nice. The beautiful. Haywood at uh, Good. And the there interior was, design was just... There was beautiful. another house there called the Bowers, named after. Oh yeah, yeah. Named after you. Oh yeah. yes, it was. Walt it, Holmes named the house after. I tell you him. what, you know when you've, you know, you know where you are when you've had a house named after you in the brochure. Go on then. What's your favourite medium size house? Uh, the Bar the Bovis Durham. I, flip, I love that house. We travelled a long way to see that little Durham. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah, that was yeah. nice. Yeah, I did like that. Small, smallest. Um, oh God! So medium sized, I would say. Ooh, maybe a Taylor Wimpy, perhaps. Uh, gosh, do you know my mind's gone blank. It is a bit late, and I've had no tea. Oh well, um, Helen said, "Do you prefer a view home or show home?" Oh, show home. <laughs> I don't know. I, do you know? Without a doubt. Well, actually, home. actually. Do you guys? Do you yeah, guys? Yeah. What do you guys prefer? Yeah. Do you do, do you, you like the furniture and all the razzmatazz accessories? Yeah. That, that I sometimes get a bit distracted with. What do you prefer, view home or show home? I know for me it's a show home. What do you think? What's a view home, Richard? Richard asked. Right. A view home is a house with no furniture. Essentially, <laughs> it's just the bare it's got bones. Cur curtains. Sometimes it yeah. Sometimes it's got curtains. Sometimes it hasn't. It's usually got carpet. Yeah, I'm just thinking of an example that Richard could watch if... A Bovis Fairlead at yes. Marine Drive. Richard, watch that, the Bovis Marine, Fairlead. Marine Drive was just beautiful. And it was so close to the to the beach and the seafront that we actually then never got to see. Yeah, can you imagine that, going to the seaside, but I'm not, not actually... Going there. Yeah, I mean, we... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, it's quite funny, isn't it? That that uh, we'll tell you a little st a little story about a show home. Actually, see the pictures in the background. You can see them just over the over the back there. You can see a little bit. See them. Those there. Yeah. yeah your four pictures. Yeah, my four pictures. Now, a good few years ago, I did a review of a house. This is in the old. Oh, channel. I did. I was there. Yeah. It was. <laughs> it was. It was a Bovis. No, it wasn't. It was a Taylor, Taylor, Wimpy. Taylor Wimpy. It was a Taylor Wimpy house type. And it was a showroom, and it was almost theme like Big Brother, wasn't it? Yeah, they yeah. they went for a lot of pop art. They had multicolored furniture in the lounge. Yeah, that was actually um, the one with the little lobby bit that you walked yeah, through. Yeah, I think it was a Morgan, a Morgan house type. Anyway, those those pictures were in the lounge. So I I said on the video, I said Taylor Wimpy, if we do you a good review of your house, then I I would love those videos. I, I no, no, you'd love those pictures. I'd love those pictures. Excuse me. And I just thought, oh, that, oh, and I just, oh, that's just great, that is. I thought that, you know, that I, so you know what they did, don't you? You know what they did? They nothing. Did, Taylor Wimpy did nothing. They sold the house, didn't even think about me, and then sold them with them pictures. Then the lady called me. I said, hi, Steve, look, we, we saw your video um, of that, and we loved it, and now we've bought the home. So. And we don't like the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want them? <laughs> Yeah. There you go. So we did, and we've had them on the wall ever since. Yes. So how cool's that? Yeah. How cool's that? But I suppose another good thing is that we know a lot of lovely interior designers now who who put these beautiful houses together. So we know a little bit about how and why they do it and yeah, why they are, style them in we certain actually, ways. We actually, I mean, ah, oh, we went to is, um, we went to we went to a couple of well, a couple yeah. Of so we know a few designers. So yes, we've seen the way they put the boards together, and it, it's just great. Now let's and, ask. And that's something that really interests me, which is why I do tend to talk about what I can see and and you know what the trends are. Yeah. I suppose. So I mean, that's what works really. Emma's more interior. I'm more construction. That's why I talk about 
the start of the house etc now you know that's what because i i'm able to make the comparison i know i know ian was just talking about the bovis durham um you know about it's kind of 90s 80s 90s kind of separate kitchen and stuff yeah. and you know yeah i can relate to to that footprint you know before so we've got a bit of a bit of a difference of opinion really on whether it's show home or view home yeah um some people are saying that they like the view home because they can imagine their own furniture and, and things in it others are saying that the show home they like the show home because they can't imagine their own things in it but they can see how it would work and perhaps see how much nicer it could look you know so yeah uh, and that some people are also saying that the show home isn't so real and that yeah. what you see isn't always what you get well it isn't what you get unless you buy the show home fully furnished which you can do yeah yeah that's it so you might be asking yourself, well, what's the future of show homes online? What's actually what what's actually going to happen to it? Where's it going to go? And at this stage, you know, we we really, I mean, we really really want to. I would love to take this onto TV and do some sort of TV program. Um, about you know, I it. saw something the other day with Phil and Kirsty on the telly, and they said that Phil and Kirsty were house TV house royalty. Yeah. And Can we compete with that? No. I wouldn't want to, really. I wouldn't want to be royal. But I think, you know, there's a gap in the market on the, on the TV. We'd be the, oil, the yeah. other royal family. Yeah, we? but I just think, <laughs> you know, there's no TV programmes about new homes, is there? And, no. You know, no. and we, I really want to do something like that. Of, um, of So we can think, so get your thinking caps on. Mm. Think of a name for a new homes channel where a new homes TV program where you can actually look around uh, look around houses. Now, what we also thought of doing is maybe changing the name to Emma thought of this of calling it Show Homes Online TV. <laughs> no, it's because a lot of YouTube channels are are called TV, basically because they're channels, aren't they? Yeah. And if you think of YouTube as the biggest television channel in the world which it is i suppose then yeah. i don't know hi deborah we'll hi deborah we'll see deborah wiseman owner of a red row house you remember deborah from milton Keynes? i do yes Sorry. i do hello yes dean's gate yes dean's hangar i'm just looking at because we've had so many uh yeah. so many questions and comments and yeah things. so obviously i was just saying about where where we're potentially gonna gonna be taking it um and uh now, one question I think that that might need that could be answered. Let me ask myself a question: Where do you think the best place we've ever reviewed is? What's your favourite place in the UK? Oh, you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say, Deborah Wiseman, don't you? Milton Keynes for me every time. Oh, you love Milton Keynes, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, I love that program that was on the other night as well, and I'm going to be doing something very similar. In te with Telford with regards to I suppose that. for me we've been to some locations quite recently I I, pref I like being by the sea I like water we've been to some beautiful places that have marinas yes we've got one coming up for a marina beaches yeah um, yeah so for me it's by the coast every time I Yorkshire think. see you've not been up you're up that way have you not up recently no, Yorkshire. no but we, we will come up that way yeah we will um so I think Homely Homes oh, TV. TV. <laughs> oh. Yes, that's it. So what we're actually thinking, oh, what we're actually thinking of is a name for mine and Emma's TV programme. Um, Can you imagine us on the telly? I don't know if I could do it. I, I think I need I to know. probably shape up a bit, really. Um, yes, we will come to Dorset, Sharon. We will. We will. We promise. Only if we get a cup of tea at yours. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I would love to do, talking about the future, is I would like... Um, Show the line is a great name. It is. Do you know, I'm always... You know, you know the saying, love. If do you remember the fixed, day I changed it? If it ain't it? broke, don't fix it. Do you remember the day I changed it to Show Homes Online and you were like, I don't think you should. <laughs> he was like, well, yeah. Because, it, believe it or not, the company is called Show um, New Homes Historian. Um, yes. And that's our, our... that's I'm the New Homes Historian. 
um, and that's our kind of name, our company name, our limited company name. Yeah. And um, Show Homes Online is kind of like a brand of a, a brand of that. So yeah. under the um, under the sort of umbrella of New Homes Story, now I kind of do a lot of consultancy. Simon says, do you have to make an appointment to do a video, or do you just show up? Yes, we do have an appointment, but, but not a time. We just, we yeah, just, we give just them tell them the day, day don't we'll we? Be there at some we'll point. be there. At, yeah. Um, Hi, I go. What's ah, the... Okay, right. Yes, we do because obviously they know we're coming. Um, it wouldn't be fair to just turn up with it and, and no. Film. Some we do, some we do. As I was saying earlier, when we do see a house that we we go past the development, and Emma goes, "Ooh, there's such and such there." And if it's yeah. a if it's a nice looking show home, we do just go in there just and we just in. say hi. We can, we're yeah. Steve and Emma from Show Homes Online, and sometimes they'll let us in. Sometimes, because that's the other thing now is that. Everybody knows who we are. Ah, oh, in, yes. in the housing world, they all know who we are. And they all, usually they'll say, oh, yes, we watch your videos. Or, oh, we've had customers asking when you were going to come. Or, yes, there was one. Wait. There was one for Kavanagh Home. Ka it was um, Kavanagh Homes, I think it Kavanagh, was. Yes. And we got there and they said, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We actually got into the show and we were five minutes into review and then they marched us back out of it. But they made us wear high vises <laughs> and hard hats. Imagine, Imagine that, yeah. And then, so we had to stop halfway through. So yeah, we had to abandon that, didn't we? So, yeah. so sometimes you, we get a bit of a strange reaction, I suppose. Um, but no, on the whole, they know we're coming. We've got an appointment, and most of the time we've been invited. And yeah. Oh, Stuart, yes. Stuart's on. Hi, Stuart. How are you doing, Stuart? What was the rest of that question? Um... The one about do we have an appointment? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, was just some, uh, and there was something about filming, right? Yeah, because some com some some developers have have don't like filming, do they? In show in in show homes, um, but I always think if you've got there's nothing to hide. It's you know we're only doing it because I think automatically when you say filming, they automatically think it's going to be negative and we're going to be saying bad things well, about them. Or that they're going to see it on Watchdog. Now, if you all remember, if you if if we do see something that we're not too happy with or we don't think it's right, then we will actually contact the sales director. Or I mean, we actually deal with group, so we're actually we deal higher than 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 any regional level. Um, yeah. So if we do say anything, we normally go back to them and, you know, it's dealt with and um, and we deliberately don't film it. We we have to, though, because, you know, um, it's not very often that we see a really shoddy show home. But no. and there is one on the channel. I wonder if you can pick out which one it is quite a within the last six months. <laughs> we went in a show home that wasn't finished. Yeah. Shouldn't have been opened. Yeah. And it was. Yes. And we filmed it for you. Yeah. So And do you know we had no We did enough. our best to be as complimentary about it as we could and, and show you. We what had was there. no feedback from them at all, did we? No. Didn't say anything to us about no. it. What well, you know. No. Um and like you like you're saying here, my mum and dad uh, lived in a Barrett house for thirty years. Um the canoe wrong spelling. Do you mean the Connaught? Oh, you oh. mean the Connaught, don't you? Yeah, I know the car North house type. Um, and what was the rest of that question? Um, and it's that Deborah saying Red Row haven't been great with things with the two year guarantee. Mm. I don't know with Red Row. Some people, I don't know. You know, I think I think Red Row now need to change exact change what they're doing now because the the heritage has been going on for far too long, and I think people are just getting bored with the concept now, and I think they need to come up with something completely new. Um, Ha <laughs> ha, Stuart, yes, Stuart. Those were, it was right. that one, Stuart, right. you know which one it was. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot more than the hob missing, I can tell you. <laughs> what you didn't see, what you didn't actually see, <laughs> <laughs> what you didn't actually see is the curtains were taped up, weren't they? I think you do see that. Yeah, and the lady had to go around with the scissors, cutting them what up. What actually happened, right, is we, we went in there, then we come out and we were like, oh my God, we've got to say yeah. something about this. Mm -hmm. We can't do it. So then the woman took us back in. The saleswoman took us back in. And she goes, I don't, I'm not happy with it either. She said, right, take me, show me <laughs> everything that's wrong with it. And I'll put it right. And I thought, well, you're not going to be able to fit a hob and a fridge, are you? So, yeah, there was a lot of things wrong. Do you with remember that when we were letting that? But apparently they were selling off plan before they could get them built quick yeah. enough. So yeah. obviously yeah. they were, you know, they're a reasonable builder. So, and then yeah. we went on, we went in the house in Milton Keynes that just had didn't... no ceiling. 
in the kitchen. Oh yeah. The see the ceiling had actually um what's it say? Um a funny thing are oh, the understairs cupboard. You opened a full size door in a house and <laughs> you yeah, I do. <laughs> What you didn't see was just before that, I because we did a cut in that one, and yeah. I'd opened it and burst out laughing and said, "Look at this! You was only half the wall." <laughs> and we had to you said cut, and we had to do it again because I thought it was so hilarious. Honestly, yeah. if you saw how many cuts it takes, yeah. right? Or me and Emma, yeah. me and Emma having a little of a Barney because I've said something stupid, or or like the other day I was saying. I was I was going on an appraisal about some modern homes and she told me off. I was I was Or what about the one that was recently where the bed was in front of the window? Do you remember yeah. that one <laughs> the recently? Bed. That's yes. another one. Yeah. And incorrectly uh, yeah, incorrectly fitted furniture where Yes. Who yeah. who would want to sleep under the window when there isn't anywhere else you could put your bed? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. And now another thing was another funny time. This let we're at that while we're on the subject of funny things was again this is stuff that didn't make the court was the house in Milton Keynes, uh a Bovis I think it's Bovis at White House Park, the early phase. And there was a kit there was a, a bedroom that had all cows on it. Obviously relevant to Milton Keynes. But these cows, this wallpaper was all these cows on top of each other. It was a kitchen. Is it the kitchen? It was, was the it? Kitchen. Yeah. I know what you mean. And I said saying. something like, I, I don't you know made what. Reference to foot and mouth, I think, didn't you? I said it looked. I said yeah, it looked. So that had to be cut out. I, I said it looked like a foot and mouth burial ground. Which it did actually. It was horrible wallpaper. It did, and I, I, yeah, yeah and I, yes, I yeah. said I, um, I, I did say that, yes, yeah. and um, yeah. But do you, I will, I will upload some more up to outtake videos. You know. We've um, usually got something on most videos. Yeah. There's outtakes. Usually, the worst bit for outtakes is the first bit. Oh, yeah. Outside. Sometimes we can have ten goes at that because a motorbike will go past or someone will honk their horn or the wind or... It gets frustrating, doesn't it? Or your shirt blows up. I There's would, always something, isn't when there? When we did Bovis at, at the fair lead, there was the, the building site. I actually, we were, I was getting so annoyed with diggers going past that they actually went and asked to get have the site shut down for ten minutes, twenty minutes, while we did this take. And I just said, look, you're gonna have to. No diggers going past. No nothing. Yeah, we did I need the site, site manager stopped everybody. They had to stop work so that we could film. I probably noticed on the recent St. Modwin one when we're doing the the outro on the balcony and the, you could hear the noise of the building, can't you? What I do want to ask everybody is, what do you think of our um, our quick tour of the development? You know, the, the the car mounted tour that you just see the quick whiz round the development. The what do you think of that? Is that something new we tried to kind of do? So what Simon Simon? One funny video was when the sales lady was following you around doing her own comment commentary. <laughs> so, Which one was that? No, let remember. me just think. When she's following us. Oh. Ah, interesting. What was it? Do you remember when we did 180? Oh, that By one. date, yeah. And we did our first snapshots video. Now, I know some of you probably don't no, like... No, but that's not that one. No, but that was one where we had somebody following us around. I wonder which one. And I can't even remember which one it was where somebody was there talking. Was a, there was a... We did a really early one on, on a, a, a David Wilson one, and that was at Beaster. And there's a guy there, it was a John Cleese lookalike, and he literally followed us, followed me around the, the development, around Hi, the house. Linda. Followed Thanks us, for joining us. Yeah, he followed us around, and then just keep going on about, and, and commenting, and heckling on oh. everything that we say. Right, Linda's saying, do you actively refrain from saying anything negative about the houses? Um, I think the point is, is that if we were very critical of them, we wouldn't be allowed in, would we? Yeah. Uh, they wouldn't stand for it. Um, but I wouldn't worry, no. because we... Ultimately, if you're buying one of those houses, then it's down to you to make the call of, of whether you... If we see... Like we, we, I don't want you to think we kind of are all on the developer's side. Mm. We're not on any sides. Ultimately, you're the critics. But if we see anything, we will report that back to them. We know. I will not... Yeah. Let that go, you know. Emma sometimes goes, Oh no, it's not worth it and I'll just go I'll just go and tell them and often they already know, you yeah. know. Yeah, the sales negotiations do. Um so do we refrain from saying anything anything negative? I suppose negativity though is about your own opinion, isn't it? Yeah. And 
if I think a room is small, then I'll then I'll say most of the time. But it is what it is. Just wait there. I'm just going to get our pooch. Sorry, it's our dog. Yeah, she's barking. Keep, keep um, so I try not to be rude about the houses because that's not that's not necessarily fair. Because ultimately, that house will be well, someone's home. This won't is the pooch. It? Yeah. Hello, pooch. Yeah. So um. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So um I wouldn't say that we refrain from being negative. We just try and we just always try and find something positive to sell. I think yeah. that's because that's what we're like. We always try. Like, we do try. I mean yeah. on some houses that we yeah. some some houses that we we view like I said I just find myself yawning sometimes and I just, you know, um you know, Emma always room for a double bed. <laughs> That's what we say, yeah. isn't it? But you do yeah. find, you do find yourself struggling to, um, I think we are giving this dog away with, um, we are, no. we are. This, we is, are. this is Roxy. Um, I remember <laughs> some of you did say something, you did say something bad then, but simply stated it would be, yeah, when I go, I, my favourite word, especially for persimmon houses, is, is this. this. This is a compact house by persimmon. Yeah. Compact. What does that re then, what does that even mean? <laughs> well, but, but they often are, aren't they? Yeah. And they're built that way so that they can get a lot of houses yeah. on a site. But then there are a lot of people that that buy those houses and and really like them. The dog's name so, is Roxy, Roxy and ultimately she is the victim of show homes online because she has, she gets left behind. Not not. Not, she gets babysat. Yeah, babysat she does, and she's a yes. Chihuahua cross, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, with, um, yeah, with yeah, that. So when we have to go away for four days or so, because we do often, we we go away for three or four days at a time. Yeah. On a, on our travels with a bit of a schedule, and and we try and get round as many as we can. Yeah. Now, what anyway, I, mean, I think we need to wrap this up. We do. Soon, we do. We're going to bore people, aren't we? we so, yeah, uh, we we probably are boring yeah. you by now. Yeah. Um, there was one other question I wanted to ask everybody. Roxy's roving show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> um, what I was going to ask is, what do you think about... Yes, Ian. We've got nothing against persimmon. We really haven't. No. What do you think about... Except... they are our most popular houses. What do you think about mine and Emma's banter? Okay. Um, that's what I would, like. I, I would like to know. Because I bit... know people do say that we interrupt each other, don't we? Yeah. Yes. You're as guilty of it as I am, I think. Well, who do you think is the worst? Emma or who interrupts the most, me or Emma? No, be careful here. I... <laughs> um, who, who is it? Now, what I would love to do, right, to celebrate our, our, our half a million is I want to give one lucky person the chance to come on a review with us um, and feature in one of our, one of our reviews. Now, if now, how many people would like to do that? Who would like to? Oh, Steve's the worst. <laughs> yeah, he is. We ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, Sebastian, don't even think about right. that because Emma edits right. Emma edits <laughs> it all out. Emma, Emma edits it. Yeah, a lot of it you don't see. No. You don't see me giving him. The stare of death. I will upload the stare of death one day to you when she gives me that look oh, and yeah. she'll go, cut, like this is the look. Yeah. What are you doing? Like that to And it's me. usually, because I've had enough by the time we've done the downstairs, it's usually by the time we've gone upstairs and you see me stood at the top of the stairs about to start the first floor and I think, oh yeah. 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 That's when he gets the look. Yeah. So one, I think if you fancy... Um, if you fancy doing a review with us, just uh, drop me a message on Facebook, and same way you are, and I'll try and work some. I'll, I'll try and work something in. Um, it just depends on where you are and what what we're reviewing, because we, obviously we'd like we, you know we like we like to meet everybody. And Linda's camera shy. Oh. Do you think? Imagine if we were. That wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be great, would it? Eh? Mm -hmm. So if you want to, if you want to join us on a review. Then leave us a message and we might might be able to fix fix something up. Yeah. Well, we are do you know, we were sitting here thinking to ourselves, I wonder if anyone will actually come online and speak to us. Will it just be one or two? 
and we're so grateful that you that you you took time th th this evening to do that. And Steve actually tidied up the office behind us because I said it was too untidy to show you. Yeah, yeah, we did tidy up. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we had to we had, we had, we had to do that. Do you know what I mean? And the dog's been locked in the in the in the lounge. I think she needs a wee. So uh, it is. Look, thank you very very much, um, very much, and. Um, yeah. We are grateful and maybe we'll do it again. Maybe yeah, we maybe yeah. maybe what we can do is maybe do one every month or something. Oh gosh, then, no. Well maybe can, once every few months. Yeah, well we can so that you we've know got something to talk about. Yeah, and yeah. we can catch up on one of you. Um and you know, just remember guys, you're 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 the people who make show homes online what it is. Yeah. And you know, even it's called Show Homes Online, but we're real people behind it. Mm. And you know, keep up and, and you know take a look at um and thank you all for all your lovely comments it's been really super to read yes it really has yes and, um... and ultimately we enjoy it that's why we do it it's hard at times you know we're all over the country all over the place and we do yeah. long long hard schedules and yeah it can be hard work especially for me when i've got to edit them and put them all together but and don't ultimately we, we like it and don't forget guys after you've after we've we we've, we've vacated the uh the room get yourself on our review page on fate on on the channel that you on the facebook um page you're on now and leave us a review because that's what that's what developers are yeah. looking at and it's really important you do that and if you are looking for a house send them an email and say right we want these guys to come and take a look at it yeah 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 and that's it that you know because that works and they do come back to us and and they ask us to come you know so, uh, and that's it and it's yeah. you know it's important that they know that how we've influenced your your buying habits on on you know well, ian's asked us when when is the next video well ian i think i mentioned it earlier might have been before you came on actually we're trying to upload now every other day aren't we yeah at least so usually th three to four times a week yeah every other day and i'm gonna we've got a barrack going on tomorrow morning I'm, i'll i'll do that before i go off to work yeah. um and we've literally we have got a a, a nice collection of show homes from yeah, our our recent in. our bedfordshire trip we've just done yeah. um we've got kia bellway yeah blow yeah Key, yeah but Taylor, Taylor Wimpy yeah. yeah we've got a great Taylor Wimpy um gosh there's so Marlow many. to come as well there's more Barrett's um, yeah yeah there's loads loads yeah. and loads coming yeah loads. Well, that's it Linda we have got we you know hopefully hopefully some modwins liked our video that we did and hopefully they'll come back to yeah. us and say they want they want some more so if you want if you, like I said Linda send some modwins a, a tweet on Twitter and say we want some yeah, more show online friends. videos you know um because all we can do is just keep making making these videos for you mm. so guys thanks very much for watching and i hope you all have a good evening what's left of it and uh, we'll catch up yeah. with you again thank you bye, bye.